I decided to bid on the U.S. Masters in 2012 to try to bring more high-quality chess into North Carolina. We had so many talented children playing in the state and uh, young adults, but to play in really important tournaments where they would be challenged, they would have to travel to Philadelphia or Chicago or New York, someplace like that. And we wanted to bring something here to North Carolina. We did that for eight years up until 2020 when we got canceled by COVID. And this presented us with an opportunity to merge into the Charlotte Chess Center where Peter Giannatos was building a very, very strong foundation in the state. And so for the two of us to come together, we have suddenly leapfrogged and made this now the strongest open tournament in the United States. Walter did a great job of building this event into something meaningful. Um, I hope that he's happy with where we've taken it since we've, uh, we've taken the lead on it here in Charlotte. And um, my goal is just to make uh, our, our city a great city for chess. As chief arbiter, um, a lot of my technical details include fair play, um, things like player invitations. So what's really cool is we have 30 grandmasters here, 40 international masters, and dozens of other masters from all over. They're coming from ever Hawaii, Europe, South America, Central America, um, dozens of states. I think there's about 30, more than 30 states represented just in the masters. Quality of the event as it goes up attracts more players to come. And so it's doing exactly what we wanted for North Carolina in building the strength and providing opportunities for our players to play quality chess at home without having to travel. And we want to make the experience as good for them as possible. So that's everything from the general atmosphere of the tournament you can see here behind us. We have our sponsor Chessable with the Chessable booth engaging participants. We have photo towers of local club members who play, play in our events. And we have side events with John Bartholomew happening. The NC Open, which is has a relatively modest prize fund. We have over 420 players, which is far and away the largest tournament ever held in North Carolina and probably in the Southeast, I would say. And by the time that the NC Open is finished up, we'll have a total of over 620 players. Biggest chess festival in the country uh, during this Thanksgiving weekend. Some of our, my other responsibilities are fair play. So we're really trying to take this more seriously than any other open tournament in the world. We've got 30 DGT boards. They're on a delayed broadcast um, to avoid any assistance. We've got international arbiters from all over, from Arizona. We've got one, flew one over from England. Um, lots of it, we have over 30, play, uh, 30 people on staff for all different types of things. No spectators in the playing hall. We're really trying to take everything very seriously. And every year we find areas that we can work in where we can make an improvement. And happy to be uh, doing this event here in Charlotte for the second year since uh, we've, we've uh, cooperated with Walter to bring this to Charlotte. It's a good time for, for people to play chess and the 620 players showed up, so we're, we're going to stick with this weekend for the future. Bringing all of it in together in the Charlotte Chess Center has been just a magnificent thing for the state.